Okay, so let's do a summary of our um, significant zero rules where they pertain to zeros, okay? So if we look at this problem or this uh, number, it gives us a lot of um, information regarding zeros and significant digits. If we see, we got three different types of zeros in this number, okay? We've got these two, which are before any non-zero digit, okay? Those kind we call leading zeros. Okay? So it doesn't matter if they're before or after the decimal place. If they're leading, they're never significant. Okay? So then we have zeros that are in between two non-zero digits, okay? Those are called captured zeros, okay? Those are always significant, okay? So the question comes, uh, when zeros are significant and not, to trailing zeros. Okay? So I'm going to write another number that also has trailing zeros, okay? Okay? So is everybody okay with all of those being trailing zeros? <coughs> okay, notice this number has a decimal place, or decimal point in it, okay? Decimal point there. Whenever the trailing zeros are in numbers with decimal points, they're always decimal, like this one, they're never significant, okay? So that's kind of the overview really quick. If you were to put these two numbers into scientific notation, it would really reveal the significance of the zeros, okay? So whenever you put something into scientific notation, you only put the significant figures into that scientific notation number, okay? So let's just do that scientific notation really quick and then you can ask that question, okay? So let's put them both into scientific notation and you guys can do this on your own while I'm doing this up here. So this one is gonna be one, two, remember, put the decimal after the first non-zero digit, okay? So one, two, to the right, that's negative, right? So this first one's going to be 1.5010, right? Because we're going to keep all the significant zero digits times 10 to the negative 2, like that, okay? This one down here, right? What did we say about the significant digits? Yeah, those don't count, and we're not going to bring. We're only going to bring significant digits into the scientific notation, right? So, how many digits is this one going to have? One. Just one. So it's going to be <coughs> two times ten to the. We got to pretend there's a decimal there and say one, two, okay. to the two. Okay. Does everybody understand now? So that kind of re is revealing about significant digits when you put them into scientific. Do you have a question? Uh, yes, like in the 200, what would happen if we had a decimal at the end? So what is any number with a decimal? With a decimal, the trailing zeros are always significant, okay? So if we put a zero there, what would they be? Oh, 200. What, would they be significant or not? Yes. They would be significant. Um, of the different so let's, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that one really quick. Okay. So, this 
is a number with a decimal, right? So they're always significant. Right? So those, the arrows, or sorry, the zeros are there and there. Okay? So let's put this into scientific notation. So are we going to leave those zeros in there when we put it into scientific notation? Mm -hmm. We're going to keep them. Keep them. 